welcome back darlings welcome back to another tutorial in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to make this simple office turban so this turban can be worked to office just look at it it's so simple and um so easy to do just a look at this so if you're here for the first time don't forget to subscribe and if i subscribe thank you for doing that thank you all for your love and your support it's a girl as of me now. So this is the material I'll be needing for this project. Look at the material. That is the material I'll be needing for this DIY. So I'll be showing the materials one after the other. And um, that is the fabric I'll be using. This fabric is called um, Obebe. Just take a look at it. So it has two parts. The first part uh, is stretching and the other part is not stretching. So we'll be using the stretching part. And this is the thread. So this is thread and um, this is my needle and thread. So make sure you use exactly the thread. And that is my flower. So I've used this flower in one of my videos. This is the flower. These are sequence flower. Just look at it, and um, this is my glue gum. You can get big one and get the small one, and that's our scissors. And um, I'll go back to my fabric back again. So just look at it. So if you are working with your fabric, just have yard. Think of yard is okay. I think of yard is okay, but because it's very long, it's unadvisable for you to buy a just a yard so even if it's remaining you can still use it for another turban and another, another design and so i'll be cutting down this out so i'll be cutting down the fabric out now so before you cut out the fabric make sure you work with the stretching part because this um fabric the stretching is not that uh, much so not compared to others fabric so just look at it like i said earlier it's called oh baby and sometimes we call it yori yori and some people even call it ologodido in your land and that is it just depend on what you call it in your area just look at it and uh what i'm doing i'm trying to um cut out the the band the the measurement so i want it to be so long that's why i said you should get a yard of fabric so can you see the stretching is not that much just look at it so i'll be cutting the band and um, the turban together so the band and the turban will not be separate it's going to be the same and i have 25 inches i have 25 inches just look at what i'm doing and um, that is for the widening and for the full length just for the full length how how it's going to be full full then i'm going to be having 27 inches so i'm going to be having can you see let's say just 27 inches try to cut 27 inches out so the measurement is 25 by 26 inches but you can add more inches to it so you can still leave it in that 26 inches but it's going to be advisable for us to leave it in 27 so when you sew your pant to it it's going to fall back to 25 so i'm going to pin that part is that's two inches you're going to mark so you're going to fold that two inches so this is the band mark two inches and fold into two then just look at what i'm going to be doing I'm going to fold just the way I want to show you better. So just look at it. You fold that two inches. You fold like that and you sew it down. So the band is sewed with the turban body. No, I didn't separate it. So, so I'm done with the um the band. Just look at it. I've sewed that part. I think this part, this system um. It's so easy. It's very, very, very easy. Just look at it. And what we'll be doing right now again, we're going to be closing the turban body. You close it down. So I'm done with the closing, and that is it. See how long it is. So it's just look at it. 
so the next thing now we'll be doing right now is i'll be showing you the measurement back after folding the two inches band can you see we fall back to 25 we fall back to 25 so you can just try to make your measurement 27 actually it's just look at it as it is for for 26 and a half so just come just look at what i'm doing so the next thing we'll be doing right now is we're going to be turning this out and you start the placing from that so you're going to start the placing from that just look at it you keep doing the placing make sure you um, your hand is on um, very straight and yes just see what i'm doing you keep doing that you keep you're creating your plating you're creating your plating the way i'm doing it you make sure the plating is um, coming out it's setting out just look what i'm doing so easy to do if you are new on this channel don't forget to subscribe subscribe to this channel we have a lot of amazing videos coming in i saw a videos on turbans and fascinator just see what i'm doing you keep doing that i'm sorry for that i'm trying to set some things so you keep doing that till you get to the last place of the top pan just look at it and so and that is the last part so i'm going to be pulling out the thread now i'm going to be pulling out the thread now so i am done without pleating can you see the way my hand goes you put this one out and you sew. You put this one out and you sew it. Just the way I'm doing this, you sew. Can you see? You sew. You take it again, you sew. Like you sew it like five times to four times. You have to sew it so tight. So you cut out the thread. Just cut out the thread just see at the front of the plating you just make sure you see sew it it's very important for you to see, sew it just look at it because if you are making this for a client you have to make it so tight so we are going to sew that part just look what i'm doing it's so easy to do so you sew it so tight just the way I'm doing this, so it's so tight. Then you cut out the thread and you sew it. If you're a beginner, and um, this uh, video is so easy for you. Just look at this. It's uh, just the way my hand is going. I use a scissors to tie. Just look at what I'm doing. And so, and um, that is. Just look at that. Yes, you're going to turn it inside. So you so turn it in out inside. Sorry, and you make a running station. Just and this is the top and fitting. So I'll be doing the fitting now. I'll be doing the fitting now. So the fitting is that falls to eleven inches. That is the um, twenty-two inches so i'm going to be doing a running station so i'm trying to create another plating just the way i'm doing it just look what i'm doing very very easy to do just see what i'm doing it's so easy to do you pull out the thread you pull it out this is where I'm doing it so easy. You pull it out and you sew it. You sew it, so it's so tight. That's what I'm doing. You sew it so tight. Very, very easy to do. Then you cut it out. You cut it out. So the next thing we're doing now is we're still going to be using a needle and thread to sew 
that part so you're going to secure that part so tight so it's in and out just the way i'm doing this just see what i'm doing don't forget to share this video with your friends and family don't forget to share with your loved ones so so it's you make sure the sewing is so tight you have to be very careful you cut this out then you tie going to tie that's the way i'm doing it just when i'm doing it you cut that out so um, our cup is ready can you see our cup is ready the plating is coming out and the next thing i'll be doing now just look at it you're going to set that plating out and then um, we'll we're going to glue this use the hot glue just it's all plug your hot glue and once it's hot you're going to press out the comb and then um, that is can you see can you just look at the plating so this is actually another way for you to create a plating just see how to do just look at it can you see you're going to you see what i'm doing then down that is it then that is the final look guys this is the side of the final look guys just look at it this is it guys thanks for watching thanks for love and support don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and don't forget to share so we still have a lot of amazing videos coming in so guys so darlings so sweethearts so creative ones i'll be seeing you next time on my next video bye and have a lovely day